If you're someone who lives with polycystic ovarian syndrome, then you know better than anyone that this comes along with a lot of pesky symptoms. One of those being the PCOS belly. Now, sometimes it's hard to know whether you have the PCOS belly or not. So in this video, we're going to cover what the PCOS belly looks like, what causes it, and what the treatment options are. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a clinical nutritionist with a special interest in PCOS. Each week, I'm bringing you simple, actionable nuggets of information about PCOS. And and how you can support your symptoms naturally using the Nourish Natural Health PCOS Repair Protocol. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next video. Let's get into it. So let's start off by describing what a PCOS belly is. A PCOS belly occurs when you have a buildup of fat around your middle. This area usually feels firm to touch. It can also lead you to have a higher waist measurement than what's normal for your height. Now the PCOS belly can be a distressing symptom for many women. As many women living with PCOS find it really hard to lose the weight. And this is despite living healthy and trying every diet in the book. And you may be wondering why you have this symptom. As some women with PCOS, don't actually have the PCOS belly. The PCOS belly might make you feel self-conscious, it might even stop you from wearing certain clothes, and it can stop you from attending social events or feeling confident at social events because you're held back by the insecurities caused by this PCOS belly. Now, you may feel shame and blame around your PCOS belly, but please remember, this is a medical condition and you didn't do anything wrong. To further understand the PCOS belly, let's talk about the anatomy and the shape of the PCOS belly. So a PCOS PCOS belly can lead you to have an apple-shaped body type. This is when you carry most of your weight around your middle, which is also where your vital organs are situated. A PCOS belly can mean that you have a higher than usual BMI, but the excess fat is situated at your belly and not very well distributed to other parts of your body. If you have a PCOS belly, you are likely to have a higher than ideal hip to waist ratio. This happens when you have a bigger belly in proportion to your waist. Your waist circumference will therefore appear larger as well. It is hard to touch and it is quite round in shape. You'll likely weigh heavier on the scales, yet you won't notice it as much in other areas of your body like your thighs or your arms. Now let's talk about what actually causes a PCOS belly. There are two main factors that are linked to the cause of the PCOS but also are significantly involved in the development of the PCOS belly and these are insulin resistance and excess androgen hormones. Insulin resistance is a common risk factor for PCOS. It also makes you more likely to accumulate fat around your abdominal section. Insulin resistance happens when your cells no longer respond to insulin being sent out as a response to an elevated level of glucose in the blood. And when insulin isn't working properly, it can't unlock the cell to allow glucose into the cell. This means you have elevated blood sugar levels, which lead to weight gain and other significant signs of a metabolic disorder. Now, elevated androgens are both a cause of and a result of PCOS. Unfortunately, when you have too much androgenic levels, specifically testosterone and other androgenic hormones, this can lead to weight gain in the belly. And this is made worse by inflammation, which is another potential risk factor for PCOS. Being in a pro-inflammatory state actually promotes fat storage. If you combine this with insulin resistance and androgenic excess, you have the perfect storm to create a PCOS belly. Next, let's talk about how a PCOS belly can affect Affect your health. So having a PCOS belly can have a number of effects on your physical and mental health. Both are just as important. First, let's talk about the physical effects. Now, when you have a PCOS belly, you can get stuck in a bit of a vicious cycle. This is because insulin resistance excess androgen levels and a pro-inflammatory state can all contribute to PCOS. But having a PCOS belly makes all those issues worse. So excess abdominal fat actually produce pro-inflammatory chemicals. These chemicals can go on to have a negative effect on your health and can even worsen the severity of your PCOS. Too much belly fat also increases your androgen production. Having excess belly fat can also lead to an excess production of testosterone, which goes on to worsen and PCOS symptoms like excessive hair growth and hair loss. So being overweight, not just having excess belly fat, can actually promote insulin resistance. So this means the things that are causing your PCOS belly are also the issues that are made worse by your PCOS belly. We can now see why there is a vicious cycle here. Now, aside from having PCOS, increased visceral fat, which is fat around the abdominal section, actually increases your risk for things like heart disease and certain cancers. So 
but this is certainly something to address ASAP through lifestyle and supplemental interventions. Next, let's talk about the psychological effect of the PCOS belly. As we touched on earlier, having a PCOS belly can have a detrimental effect to the mental health of someone who is living with PCOS. This is because a PCOS belly can affect your self-esteem and your confidence. It can make you worry about how you look and you may struggle to find clothes that you love and feel comfortable in. For some, having a PCOS belly is a constant reminder of the condition that they have to deal with every single day. For others, a PCOS belly can be mistaken for a pregnant belly. And this can be really hard to deal with if you're experiencing fertility troubles. That's why for the sake of your physiological health and your psychological health, it is worth your while to treat the PCOS belly. So how do we diagnose a PCOS belly? First, you need to get a series of tests to confirm that you do have PCOS. And therefore, if you do have PCOS, it makes it more likely that you do have a PCOS belly. The first is measuring your hip to waist ratio and seeing if your ratio is putting you in a high risk category for certain diseases. Next, your doctor may perform an analysis of your menstrual cycle. This will help to establish if you suffer from irregular periods or if you miss ovulation regularly. These symptoms may suggest the presence of PCOS. Your doctor may ask questions about your family history of PCOS, including if your mother, grandmother or sisters have PCOS. This is because of the genetic factor of PCOS, so having a family history of the disorder can increase your chances of having PCOS yourself. Your doctor will likely also order a test to check your antigen levels. And lastly, they may perform a pelvic ultrasound to have a look and see if there are polycystic ovaries, so multiple cysts on the ovaries. Once it's been established that you do have PCOS, then you can be more confident that your belly has been caused by this disorder. Now, what we're all waiting for, let's talk about the effective treatment of a PCOS belly. Now, in order to treat a PCOS belly, it's very important that you treat PCOS as a whole because without the condition, you wouldn't have the belly in the first place. And when it comes to PCOS, a holistic treatment plan is really what's needed. This is because there are multiple causes of PCOS and there are multiple factors that can worsen the condition. There is no one treatment for PCOS and PCOS belly. Instead, you'll have to come up with a personalized PCOS management plan that takes into account your personal scenario. Usually, your doctor will explore this with you and have a look at any medications that can be used to help your condition. For instance, if your doctor recognizes that insulin resistance may be a big issue for you, they may prescribe a medication to help regulate your blood sugar levels. Yet, even if you are prescribed a medication to help manage your PCOS, you will still need to work on lifestyle interventions to ensure the best results. We often find that targeted supplemental support, along with lifestyle interventions, gives you the best chance of managing your PCOS and PCOS belly. Next, let's talk about supplemental support. Now, when we're talking about managing PCOS through supplements, we ideally want to target the main factors that are driving PCOS. OS. So this means adding things like zinc, which really help to lower excess androgen levels in the body. And this may go on to help you increase your insulin sensitivity. Other key ingredients like green tea and saw palmetto can also have a fantastic effect on your PCOS. This is because both of these things can block excess testosterone, support healthy androgen levels and reduce hair thinning. And we've got all of these ingredients in our best-selling Androgen Blocker Plus supplement. You can head to the Nourish Natural Health website to check it out for yourself. Whilst you're there, you can also take our free quiz to find out what the root cause of your PCOS is. Next, let's talk about lifestyle interventions. First, exercise is such an important tool in your PCOS management kit. And this is because exercise actually helps to balance your hormones. Now, we know that excess androgens can drive PCOS. So anything that helps keep them in check is definitely something that needs to be prioritized. In particular, studies have found that strength and resistance-based training can help to lower circulating androgen levels. This in turn helps with PCOS symptoms like the PCOS belly. Exercise also helps to increase insulin sensitivity, which is another key aspect of PCOS treatment. And of course, exercising also helps to improve your mental well-being. And feeling more positive is really important along your PCOS journey so that we can ensure success. So really, exercise is going to help in multiple ways to manage your PCOS. 
Now, aside from exercise, we also wanna look into strategies to reduce your stress. This is because excess stress actually puts you in a pro-inflammatory state. This in turn increases your risk of developing a PCOS belly. Reducing your stress also helps you sleep better. And when you sleep better, you increase insulin sensitivity. It only takes one bad night of sleep to increase your insulin resistance the next day. So make sure you're getting good sleep. Some fantastic strategies to reduce stress are things like yoga, spending time with family and friends, knitting, reading, crafting, going for walks, gardening, or making time just for you by having a warm bath and reading a really good book. These are all just as important as any other PCOS management tool. So as you can see, a holistic treatment plan is key when it comes to managing your PCOS and therefore managing the PCOS belly. If you've had any success in the past in managing your PCOS belly, we would love to hear about it. Make sure you leave a comment below and don't forget to head to the Nourish Natural Health website to check out our Androgen Blocker Plus supplement along with all of our other supplements. Whilst you're there, you can take our quiz to find out the root cause of your PCOS and you can join our sisterhood so that you can connect with like-minded sisters from all over the world. That's it for the video today. I hope that you picked up a lot of little nuggets of information. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!